Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for our final super fight matchup in the welterweight division. Please welcome first up to ringside, Kev Ward. his opponent. UK.com. This fight, ladies and gentlemen, is for an exclusive two-fight contract with Glory and Glory Sports International. We are ready for three three-minute rounds of professional kickboxing in the welterweight division. A catch with bout at 80 kilograms max. Introducing your first fighter standing in the blue corner, six feet four inches tall and weighed in officially at 79.3 kilograms. With 40 wins and just nine defeats, representing elite Southport, he is Ken Ward! And his opponent in the red corner, standing six feet one inches tall and weighed in officially at 79.4 kilograms with an official record of 23 wins. With just 60 feet, representing Mazak Masters, he is Jamie Bates! <laughs> For the Supervisor Referee Charge is John Blackledge. So Howard, this is the super fight with a glory two-fight contract at stake, and it's two of our most experienced fighters. In that ring between them, they have almost 80 contests. Kev Ward, the most experienced man here on the night, with 50. Jamie Bates knocking on 30 professional bags. Yeah, they've got brilliant records. Both tall lads as well. Be very interesting, this one. Uh, I know that Kev Ward, he, he comes from that, that Stockport gym, very, very well-schooled, and 
uh, the, the lads from Durham, well, enough said about the guys from Durham. Uh, they're, they're the same. They're so experienced. And, and he's a lesser experienced guy with 29 fights. This is going to be a good contest. That's right. And, and you feel here it's the right contest for a contract because the two of them, they're at the top of the tree here. They're at the top of the game. And, and you feel without this outlet for glory, where is there for them to go? Now there is somewhere to go That's for either right. of these men. You need the prestigious events to give them the motivation to train hard. So Ward versus Bates at stake, a two-fight glory contract, possibly the biggest kickboxing stage in the world at the moment. Still a feeling out process for both of them as expected. Nobody's found their range yet. No, and as, as we said at ATK, we've got six foot three versus six foot one. Ward obviously the taller and the slightly older of the two men. And and the vastly experienced man almost landed with that left, the rangey left, looking to find that range, as you said, Howard. Yeah. They haven't found it yet, they got entangled. It's just a mismatch at the moment. It will settle down in a while. Yes, a lot at stake here for these two men, so there will be this feeling out process. They won't want to make a mistake. It's still untidy. I don't know whether it's nerves or just a clash of styles. Well, that it, it can be a mixture of both. You're right, Howard. Sometimes, obviously, styles always make fights. And if it's a bad fight, the styles clash. If it's a good one, they merge beautifully. I think maybe let's, this one just needs the time to settle down, get that out of their system. Because the other thing they must think about is you can become overcautious, can't you? Thinking, I don't want to make a mistake with a contract at stake. Well, they're the opposite at the moment. They're both throwing caution to the wind. There's not much thought of defence from either one of them. Yes, and it's got the crowd responding now as they're looking for that finish and that guarantee. If you want that contract, the best way to make sure you get it is not to let it go to the judges. Well, ab absolutely. Unfortunately, they both must be thinking that. They need to settle down to start thinking about what they're doing and come up with some strategy. Yes, a little shin kick there from Bates. Oh, and the right hand missed and the jumping knee attempt from Ward and Bates almost made it pay for it, but still they're just out of proper range yeah, because still, Howard. They're not, they're not doing anything to gauge the range, they're just throwing wild shots at each other. Whether it's a jumping knee or a wild swinging right hand, it's not the way, it's only round one. Yes, Bates looking to walk Ward down, Ward just More like it. the check. You can still work hard and fast but measured, can't you? It's Ex not wild. Exactly. You know, the, your experience, you know, you don't have to hit the guy. You throw the techniques and slide in and engage your distance and then work from there. Nice left from Bates as Ward came forward. It's got scrappy again, but that was the best left hand of this short back so far. And at the moment, with just 18 seconds left, it's hard to put anything between them because it's hard to get anything really meaningful. Well, it was nice to see uh, somebody block something and Kev Ward, that was a nice block to that swinging right hand. No counter, but at least the block was good. So we're inside the distance here of the first round and they've had a good look and I hope now that the, the nerves have settled, the, the enormity of what they're going for has sunk in, they get back to business. Well, what the, the biggest advantage here is that the corners are going to give them both a good talking to. Look, settle down, this is what you need to be doing. And, and hopefully they'll come out and do it. At the moment, it's just hit and hope, and uh, it's not working. It's very novice and it's very untidy. Well, you'd imagine on any other night without this pressure, you would see two totally different men. Well, they, they both come from good camps with good reputations. We know that they've got the ability. There's no thought to defence at all. It's all over the place. The same as the attack. Uh, the stance is the same. It's just wild. And, you know, you can't... I couldn't split them in that round because there's nothing to split them about. No. And as, as you said, with their corners, a calming influence, get back behind technique. They're both experienced. As I said, 50 and 30 fights. That's a lot of bouts. That's a lot of ring time. This should be second nature, a second home to them. And all you can think is that, you know, with the MD and the head of European Operations of Glory at ringside waiting to offer you a contract, is playing on their minds. Well, the thing is about waiting to get offered a contract is it's not just about winning. You also have to look good because this is entertainment as well as combat. So yes. for Glory to feature them, they're going to want guys that are going to draw the crowd. Nice right hand from Bates as Kev Ward pushed forward. Jamie Bates caught him on the way in and then a nice interleg. This is better. They're, looking, they're, they're settling down. 
They're settling down. I hope. They're still just trying to land power shots. Land some thinking shots and then get the power shots in behind them. Jamie Bates trying to walk. Kev Ward down. Nice spinning side kick to the midsection. Lands it cleanly. Gets Ward's attention. Just beginning to clean up the technique here in the second, as you'd expect from two seasoned veterans here. And an inside leg kick from Ward. At least the technique now is becoming crisper. Well, they're looking like they're beginning to think about defence and what to do about what's coming their way. But how about defending and countering? They're not thinking about that. Oh, he saw the spin this time, Ward. And you mentioned about the counter. I think that, did that go into the groin? Another low blow. Accidental, but, you know, it's, it's just so wild. Jamie Bates will be given time to recover. I mean, the, the one half of it, Ward saw it early move nicely, away from trouble. It was the follow-up that obviously went to the groin. They touch gloves and go again. But Kev Ward's so tall. He can afford to, to slide in behind and, and, and land shots without being hit anyway. He's got that much reach advantage. I don't know what the problem is, why he has to back off so so much when he gets attacked, or when he's going in, why he has to attack with such uh, abandon. Well, I was just about to say when you said that, that when he went in last time, he went for the kick with the reverse leg. When you're that long, go with the lead leg, which he did the second time for the inside of Jamie Bates' thigh. When you're that tall and that long-limbed, your lead leg can be the introductory yeah. weapon rather than bring exactly. your body into exactly. play. And he's just started to do that now. Well, you see, he's, he's, a couple of times he's landed that lead leg to the inside leg, but just a single technique. If you land it, then you go in with your combinations. Especially if that lead leg just isn't fully checked and takes your opponent off balance slightly. Which is, it's, it's exactly, which is what he's been doing. It has been a better round, more technique. Nice check there this time from Jamie Bates. There's your man there, he's right there. Well, you know, just fire the shots. Bates look for the side kick in defence after the first kick and the left hand over the top of Kev Ward's guard. That's the first real sensible attack we've seen. Ward Jeff. walks his man down after taking those shots. Spins again this time, but this time the reply from Ward is the, is the hook to the body. Yeah, he's looking to counter now. They are thinking a little bit more, that's because they're getting a bit more tired. But they need to be firing straight shots, keep the combinations going. If they land, it doesn't matter. Gets you closer and learn to teach you to gauge the distance. And right at the bell again, we had the inside leg kick from Ward. He's got the natural tool there with the, the long, long limbs. He doesn't need to bring that rear leg in. But as you said, it'd be nice once the balance taken, once that chops in, to bring the hands over the top and then maybe bring the other leg into play when it's safer. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely right. Sweet and simple. And again in that round, uh, I mean, it was the same thing. Uh, Jamie Bates was more aggressive and Kev Ward sold flashes of decent technique, but not a lot to separate them again. It's, I don't know what the judges are going to go for. It makes an intriguing third round. This is their last round. With everything that's at stake, they've got three more minutes. As simple as that, to get something really clean and hurtful and meaningful. And I, I think if, if one of them really gets some meaningful technique in this third, it could be all it needs. Yeah, well, no one's been hurt yet. So it, if someone hurts the other one, then, you know, the fight's probably theirs. Because it gives some, the, the judges something definitive to, to score on. So, three minutes between one of these men and the glory contract. Will there be a sting in the tail of this bout? What's a decent attack there from Kev Ward? It's there for the taking, Howard. It's as simple as that. I think if either man really impresses in this round, this could be the deciding factor. Absolutely right. Again, more swings. See, and again, Kev Ward comes forward with the rear leg which brings his own body into a range of Jamie Bates' hands. And that's what's happened, he's taken that right now. A good straight right counter. Some bravado. Let's see what he's backed up with. Nothing. But that all started for Ward when he decided to, to, to shoot off the rear leg. He kept it straight. Keep it simple. That wild stuff's not working. Keep it straight and simple, both of them. Left leg, left hand combination from Jamie Bates as Kev Ward comes forward. This still on a knife edge here for both these men. 
and still just under two minutes if someone can really make some telling contribution to this round that when they do land single shots and both of them do from time to time none of them follow up on it spin from Jamie Bates just clips the midsection then the left hand as Kev Ward looks to come back at him I just get the feeling in this third round just maybe a little bit more from Bates I don't know you from you Howard yeah I think? agree I agree with you I agree with you just I mean, there we go like again that. yeah, yeah. So those little moments something to split the difference Kev Ward doing a lot of posturing but not firing Oh, and that one came through to the groin Another once low more. One. <laughs> it's always a danger when you're as tall as Kev is. I, I mean, outside of the ring, you won't meet a nicer man. So there's no malice there. It's just unfortunate that with his height and the determination and the desire to land the knee. The lovely, polite guys, but once they're through the ropes, that goes out the window. That's right. <laughs> and rightly so, Howard, you know. <laughs> well, still just over a minute left in this third. See, Kev Ward, he's pressing the action, but he's just not throwing enough. And, and, and to be fair to Jamie Bates, his movement's quite good. He moves well on his feet. And they smile at each other here as the clock goes inside the last minute now. And again, Bates spins, almost lands just silly with the side kick. It's just hard to see someone of this experience attacking with a spinning back kick. It's a counter-attack more often than not. It's just so strange. And the front teep. The more teep like on the left hand from Bates. It's a good teep. It looks to drop the axe on the taller opponent. There's a good one. <laughs> it's one of those contests, isn't it, really? We can't read it, and I'm guessing neither of them can either. Well, this is the thing. To be fair to the two men, we've seen it many times over the years. Styles makes fights. And when your styles clash, it can be ugly, it can be frustrating, yes. and it doesn't show you to your best sometimes, and it's neither man's sport. You could put them in there for five rounds and you won't get a change, seven rounds. And we've seen it in kickboxing, we've seen it in professional boxing, where you just don't gel. No. And tonight, these two men with big reputations and big names have not gelled. No, exactly. It's that simple. But it makes it incredible for the judges i would not like to be a judge on this one howard i haven't got a clue who's won that one not a clue you can make a case for either of them to be the winner well it's going to be interesting when the judges decision is in because at the end of this i mean when we see here this is what i'm talking about about not gelling neither man really could get forward real clinching that was probably the best shot of the night the right hand from jamie bates there if you're going to score it on aggression or jamie bates is probably the winner And then, obviously, I think Kev's frustrated as well, and he knows what's going on, so a bit of posturing there, a bit of showmanship. Kev Ward was waiting for the counters all night that did not come. And I think, to be honest, if you put either of these men in with another opponent on another night, you'd get a better Oh, they probably look great. Yeah. They probably look great. But I think Buddy Johnson, RMC, has got the scorecards in, and I will be really interested to see what's happened here. I want to see the reaction of the guy that loses. Yes, good point, <laughs> Howard. It's, it's difficult for both men. But we have got Buddy here and we are going to get the result and one of these men is going to get a contract. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for both Warriors this evening. Come on! Three exciting rounds in this final Super Fight Series. And we go to our judges' scorecards. Judge 1 scores about 30-29. Judge 2, 30-28. Judge 3, 29-28. To your winner by unanimous decision. And the winner of an exclusive two-fight contract with glory. In the red corner, Jamie Bates. Jamie, an incredible amount of stake tonight, as we all knew.
and it was a very difficult fight for both of you, stylistically very different. How hard was that? Yeah, Kerm is obviously very experienced, he's been with everybody in the country and some of the best in the world, so he was never going to make an easy fight. And he proved just how uh, difficult he was tonight. He made it very hard for us to get in and actually land those hands that I thought might be a bit easier before he came in, but he was a loose and uh, he made hard work for us. Well, having said that, it was hard work for both of you. Stars make fights yeah. very tall. You, but one of the things that did catch your eye was, in terms of aggression, you did try to push the fight. Yeah, I tried to push the fight. Um, I mean, I've been all the way through here, so I was a little, little bit hesitant to get in. But when I could get in the armor shots, I did find which one to work. I was a bit late, but we were there. Did the fact that this was just not just a super fight, there was a lot more at stake as well. I mean, Glory, the preeminent kickboxing organisation in the world at the moment, did that play on your mind at all? I grew up watching K1, the world, when I was a teenager in our house, Serpo, from everybody, and all the great. And when I was watching, when I was a kid, I was like, I'd love to be amongst the greats. So the only, the only way I get to do that now is for Glory, so. Well, you made it. Congratulations, Jamie, and we look forward to seeing you on Glory. Well done.